Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And thank you for allowing me to offer a few words as we bid Sergeant Lawrence Dustin Knight good luck as he begins a new chapter in his life with the United States Marine Corps. When Dustin joins the Marines, he will be joining an elite group of men and women dedicated to our country and preserving the freedoms we hold dear. For more than 230 years, the Marines have been proudly serving our country, and they continue today fighting terrorism and Al-Qaeda and keeping the peace in hot spots around the world. Like Representative DeWeese, Belfundi, Weedley, Reachaw, and Goodman, who are Marines, we are a proud bunch. We have a unique bond, a camaraderie that few groups of men have. We were and still are Marines. And Dustin, we are pleased you have decided to join our ranks. Granted, your training in Paris Island, South Carolina will be tough. After all, Marines' training has never been easy. And it's not designed to be easy, but it's well worth the sacrifice you are putting forth. The bravery, heroism, and selfishness of all Marines, wherever they are serving, have added significantly to our rich legacy and measured up to the high standards that have come to epitomize all who wear the eagle, globe, and anchor. In my four and a half years of active duty service in the Marines and my years in reserves, I learned an unbroken tradition of proud, loyal service. I learned above all else in duty, honor, and country, and I strove to honor that commitment. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have been distinguished themselves with greatest honor winning new accolades on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is in the highest in military efficiency and virtue. With it, we all recede from that the eternal spirit which has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguished mark of Marines in every age. So long as the spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency and future that they have been in the past. And the men of our country will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of the Corps. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to join my colleagues in wishing Dustin safe travel, and we will continue to keep him and his family, along with all soldiers, airmen, and sailors fighting for our country in our thoughts and in our hearts as they serve our country. Dustin, thank you for serving our country, and we wish you well. Thank you very much. Dustin, on behalf of all the veterans in the House and this great institution, I would like to thank Merle Phillips for those wonderful words. Unfortunately, too many times we have recognized our fallen heroes posthumously. We want to congratulate you and thank you for your courage and your sense of patriotic duty. And we wish you Godspeed and the thoughts and prayers of all of us will be with you.